All right, let's get this thing cracking. I hope it ain't too noisy in here. I hope it's not too noisy in my background. Hold on. All right, what's going on, man? Y'all pop on in here. Let me turn some of these fans down in my joint. All right, what's going on with y'all, man? Everybody pop on in the room. Everybody pop on in here. Glad to have y'all tuning in. Everybody tap in with me. What's going on with you? You know, we had to do it. We're doing it early. Usually I do the tap ins real late, but we're early now. So it's going to be a few thousand people in here. I can already tell because I'm early. Everybody come on in the room. And let's chime in on everything, ladies and gentlemen. Let's chime in. Glad to have everybody tuning in with me, by the way. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff we're going to touch on. I know everybody saw the debate with Trump and Kamala. Some say Kamala. I was just doing um, a post-debate interview with the Shade Room on TikTok. Some of y'all might have caught it. I did a thing with them. And a lot of people want me do, wanting me to do post-debate commentary. But I'm going to do it here with you good people. I'm here with you guys. And we're going to chop it up with you. And then we're going to have you chime in with how you feel about it. All right. Hold on one second. This T Black, before I get started, let me see this T Black dude. What's up, T Black? Yo, T Black, hop in here. Yo, hello? Yeah, what's happening, man? Yo, what's going on, brother? What's happening? Ain't nothing, man. I just wanted to say that uh, I think Donald Trump got washed tonight, man. Okay. What? How do you think Kamala did? Well, you, you're a Kamala fan. I, I looked at your page, and you're you know you're a big fan of Kamala. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did she uh, wash him? She washed him because all everybody uh all the questions that Donald Trump was asked directly by the moderator. He never really directly answered. He never had an answer for it. He started going off and pointing fingers and stuff like that back at what she was doing instead of answering what questions that he was asked. And Kamala had answers for everything that she was asked. Really? You know? Yes. Yeah. Kamala was kind of babbling and, and stammering. What does she was, babble on? What does she oh babble on goodness. specifically? When with immigration, she started babbling and then blaming Trump for immigration, talking about something that he didn't do or some policy that he put together that caused all this immigration. So she was stab stammering and babbling and deflecting. So yeah, she wasn't really No, nah, that's not true. What is it what what exactly did she say? She I just told you she was talking about the immigration problem was because of some bipartisan thing that Trump didn't do. Oh that yeah, because they had a bipartisan Trump. bill. They had a bipartisan bill that uh you know that Trump had called people from the Republican Party and told them, you know, not to, to let that legislation pass so he can run on that on that, that he can campaign on that at that position. And that's all kid that does that sound remotely feasible that Trump not in office, but he called his buddies who were in office to make them kill some kind of bill. Really? You think it's not? You think that's no, not no. possible? No. You don't think that? No. Like if Kamala, me and you, let's, let, let me, let me say this. One, let me say this real Kamala's quick. the one talking about giving amnesty to all of these illegals. That's her saying this stuff. They've been talking. I hear you, but that's totally different. But what we talking about well, right now, different. No, how, no, how is that different? Because I'm I'm saying if if he called his people in the Republican Party, which who he still has a lot of influence with, right? Ah, yeah. uh, he cut me off again. Hello, y'all not, not gonna do that. He's calling the shots while he's not in office. That's so disingenuous. He has more power out of office than Kamala and Biden do in office. I ain't buying that, brother. You don't buy that. No, sir, I don't. That's all. Nah, that's come on, man. You know how that go, man. You've been in this game a long time, bro. You know, it's a lot of influence, and there's there's people behind the scenes that's really calling the shots. Do you agree about that? No, it's you don't agree. 
is people who are in office calling the shots. Nobody who's not in office. Trump ain't calling no shots. He's not in office. He ain't got no no phone call that he's making to people, making him do their bidding. No. That's the so you don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, let me get some more. Okay, yeah. My the the Democrat shields are just they engage in bad faith arguments. But anyway, I'm gonna get some more for uh, yeah. The Democrat shields, well, y'all be getting into bad faith arguments like a mug. But the, the debate was interesting. It was interesting. Um and I and I just did an interview about this for my per, from my perspective, and I want to get yours. There were strong points and weak points on both ends. Um with Trump, he came in strong. Trump came in strong initially. Um, when Kamala was trying to take little jabs, he was swiping back at her. When she tried to take the jab at him about, well, you know, people people are tired of hearing you. They're leaving your rallies early. He came back on her ass. Well, people ain't even going to your rallies. And when they go, they're being paid to go. So, they, you know, the little zingers were cool. At first, Kamala was kind of stammering her voice was cracking she seemed very nervous she was you know struggling to remember her talking points now later on she mellowed out a bit and became more relaxed i don't know if she had an earpiece on or somebody was telling her hey chill your ass out but she became more relaxed and poised later i give her credit on that i give her credit on another thing when Trump was talking about crime and immigration and crime, which is a problem, she kind of came back and got him with, well, speaking of crime, you got a bunch of criminal charges. She got him with that. So there was some good back and forth going on there. There was some real good back and forth going on. Another thing where Trump got her is when they were talking about Russia and Putin and Trump made a point like you are over there negotiating with them with the Putin people and the Russian people and people over there in the in that part of the 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 planet, the part of the world, you were over there negotiating, and when you got back a few days later, a war broke out. So your negotiating skills are trash. So he got her on that. So there was a lot of good back and forth going on. Trump got a little flustered later, and I can understand why he was getting a little agitated later. So that kind of threw him off of his game a little bit, and. Here's the thing, the the questions were basically designed in Kamala's favor. If you notice that most of the questions that were asked by the moderators were really directed to put Trump on the defense. None of the questions were really put out there to put Kamala on the defense. So Trump was on the defense for a lot of the the debate. And that has to do with the way the questions were made and they knew that the the moderators would kind of be somewhat pro-Democrat, pro-Kamala. They knew that. Now, later on, in the very end, when they were closing up, this is where Trump got somewhat of an edge because he hit her with a real good zinger when she was talking about all this stuff. When, I, when I'm elected, I'm going to do this. And when I'm elected, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do all these things when I'm elected. When I'm elected, I'm going to do this. And then Trump hit her with the 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 one two punch. Well, damn it, you're in office now. How come you ain't doing it now? I'm like, whoa, that's it. That was very powerful. That one was powerful right there. Trump was hitting her with a lot of common sense stuff right to the point. So again, I think that that part right there gave him an edge. He was able to close out with that. He was able to close out stronger with that. And I give credit to that. But Throughout the whole debate, they were somewhat neck and neck to me. They were somewhat neck and neck. And I like to get the opinions of the family here. Let's get um, King Flipper. King Flipper in the building. What's up, brother? King Flipper, what's up, man? Hey, what's happening, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Now, what do you think about the debate? I think Kamala spanked Trump because he was focusing more on her than actually focusing on the debate. It was very stupid of him. Okay. All right. Thank you. What do you, what do you think? Okay. That's, you, that's your opinion. Okay. I, I wanted you to elaborate, but you're kind of taking your time. Let's get Kanye 2024. 
Let's get Con Yeezy. What's up, brother? How's it going, man? Um, trying to see. I, I think it was a very interesting debate. It was a 3v1 for the most part, but I do think he got knocked off his rocker a little bit. But he kind of made up for, like you said, with the why don't you go wake him up right now at four o'clock in the afternoon? And that whole line there, I think that was the highlight of the debate, if you ask me. So it'd be real interesting to see how it goes. I think he kind of messed up with the whole mentioning her ethnicity thing. You know, it kind of don't look good coming from him, but we all know the truth. But the moderators brought that up. So that, again, that put him on the defensive. The moderators brought that up. And you notice Kamala has never said, I'm black. She's, she never says that. That's another thing people never forget. She dances around that and then gets into the whole, well, we shouldn't be divisive. Whoa, 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 whoa. But they ask him the question about the race. And then when he answers it, they say, oh, that's divisive. So it was it's kind of a set up whammy bammy type of um, um, entrapment question. So let's get um, this is the way. And then we'll get Daniel Gray. This is the way. Then we'll get Daniel Gray. This is the way. What's up, brother? This is the way. All right. This is the way. You got three seconds to get on. And let's get Daniel. Mr. Daniel, hop on. Hey, what up, Tariq? Um, just want to point something out for people to be aware. When she says opportunity economy, what she's really transcribing is the Hunger Games, where if you get the opportunities that they make for everyone, then you benefit. But if your ducks and teas aren't in rows, then she can't be held responsible or they can't help be held responsible for not helping you get to the top. So the sentence have brought for our Hunger Games and Black people, they did not say anything for you. They mentioned the immigrants before they mentioned you. That's okay. all. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, this is the way. Are you ready, brother? Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. I, I think that both of them did their best to uh, avoid questions. I remember I wrote this though, Kamala. I didn't like that she wouldn't. She, I mean, because he he said a lot. Of, like he attacked her on a lot of things. I think one good thing that he did was bring up immigration, and he hammered that home. Uh, but he definitely side swiped when she talked about how he tried to destroy a bill. Uh, he side swiped it, but she also side side swiped questions too. So. I thought it was pretty much even, and neither one of them said anything that would make me vote for them. Right. Uh, neither of them said anything that they would help for Black Americans, and I hope Black Americans see that neither of these candidate, candidates are for us. There you go. Man, thank you so much. Let's get um, Carnage. Uh, um, you know what I think about the debate? I think that Black Americans are cotton pickers. Okay. Yeah, that fell flat. You got any more? That that fell real flat. That's all I need to say. You're a cotton picker, you fucking slave bitch. Yeah, that that. Yeah, yeah, cool. I know it's slavery, it's slavery. That's why you're fighting for reparations because you had to pick cotton, slave boy. Yeah, that's that's not real. Yeah, yeah, I know it doesn't work. Yeah, slavery doesn't work. That's why you that's why you want reparations, slave boy. Yeah, that's that's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know it doesn't work. I know slavery doesn't work. That's why they had to free, right? You had to beg for freedom, right? Slave boy. Yeah, you're trying too yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 you're trying too hard. You're trying too hard to pick cotton. Yeah, you're embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're begging master for fucking reparations, you know what I'm saying? You're begging master for money, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, please, Mr. Uh, Mr. White Man, please. You're embarrassing yourself, sir, but go ahead. I'm going to let you go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't even have you muted. Well, you, you left. I was going to let you continue to embarrass yourself. Yeah, with unfunny trolling. Yeah. Yeah, that's not offensive, sir. You're trying too hard to be offensive, sir. Nobody's offended by that, sir. All right. And you ran out of material real fast. Yeah, we're not offended by that. Let's get Donnie. Let's get Donnie in the building. Donnie in the building. Yo, Donnie. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. Where you at, Donnie? All right, Donnie ain't saying nothing. All right, Donnie, unmute your microphone, dear. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yes. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, I was going to answer your question for the space, who won. And I say that um, neither won, and we have all lost. Like, that's all I wanted to say. Like How they've performed tonight, we've all lost, regardless of who you support. Mm, okay, there it is. Let's get... um. 
what's his brother's name? Ready for R R. What's up, R? Unmute your microphone. Oh, okay, okay. First time in the spaces. I want to say this, man. It's a two-part answer. One, Kamala won. Kamala won the debate. If you're looking at it from a sports perspective, she won the debate. Yes, she had help from ABC. Yeah. Yes, she had. Yes, she had help from the, from the mom. So I don't know what happened there. But we back in. Low for Kamala. All she had to do was not crap her pants on stage. That's all she had to do. All she had to do was not have a nervous breakdown. All she had to do was just remain calm. So the bar was extremely low. And all she had to do was not do a Biden. You dig? Because everybody know how Trump, Trump is Trump. Trump does his thing. Trump does the same thing all the time. So really, they would just kind of see, seeing how she was going to react to Trump. Let's get Red in here. Red, unmute your mic. Hello, can you hear me? How are you? Good, how are you doing today? Thank you so much. What's on your mind? I'm just going to keep this short. I don't think this moved the needle at all. I'm also, I also don't think Trump lost either. I don't think Kamala won anything. I think it's about the same. I think Trump was Trump and he did exactly what he was expected to do. The only thing is he couldn't be himself on ABC and he knows yeah. that. That's why he behaved the way mm-hmm. he did. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah, he couldn't get too, too defensive with the the moderators too because they would have ran and spun that because again, they were really, really grilling him and softballing Kamala. So it was very interesting, but he, he, he kind of knew and he'd been critical of um, ABC anyway. He's been critical of them. So he kind of knew what their get down was going to be. All right, let's get a couple of more calls in here. Shout out to everybody in here. By the way, go to microphonecheck.com to get the film Microphone Check, the hip hop documentary that I just put out this summer, the hottest documentary in the game microphonecheck.com the movie is actually the number one documentary on amazon right now but you can get it at microphonecheck.com we have the new uncolonized version of the film out so that's microphonecheck.com let's get um let me see real tomorrow real tomorrow in here real tomorrow Hop in real tomorrow. Giving me the mic. Hope everyone's having a good night. Um, to answer, can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. I got you. Perfect. Thanks. Um, to answer the question directly, who do I think run the debate? I think Trump won because anytime you have a three on one debate, um, first of all, you have to look at it from that point of view. And he was fighting three people and he yep. held his own for an hour and a half. And I'd say that on that alone, the debate goes to him. Also, I think that Kamala Harris was very overprepared for this debate. Anytime that you see Kamala Harris and she's answering any questions, um, she's not polished, she's not clean, she's not direct, she's not clear, and she's not poised. And she was all of those things tonight, strangely. Like she was, you know, prepared for every single question. I think that Trump was. Um, strongest when he said, hey, go wake Biden up at four o'clock in the morning, have him sign an order, get the board together if you really want to do that. And I think he was really strong when he said, hey, look, um, all these promises that you're making, you're the vice president. Why don't you go ahead and do them now? The weakest part, I think, was when he said um, that he didn't have an answer for health care. He said that he has concepts. And I think he's weakest on that because realistically, there are no real answers for health care in this um, in this country that will mirror uh, like a European system or like a Canadian system or any other system. We have privatized healthcare in this in this country. We're a free market society. And that actually is the answer to what we need for healthcare. It's better privatization. He also said some things back in 2016 and running up to the 2020 election where he wanted to make sure that, that there was more opportunity across state lines where you could you know buy health insurance the same way that you buy car insurance. And that's really the answer to a better privatization of, of health care is to just make sure that you have more options. And when you have more options, then the prices go down because then you have more competition in the market. I also agree with Donnie. 
all of us lost tonight because ABC did not ask Trump the hard, uh, I'm sorry, Trump and Harris the hard questions on foreign policy. Um, I don't even know what Kamala Harris's religion is. Is she Hindu? Was she the first Hindu president? And there's a lot of questions that weren't asked and they'll never be asked on an ABC network. So we all lose because we don't really know who Kamala Harris is. And I'll land my plane there. Thanks again. Thank you, dear. Now, yeah, this sister brought up a very good point. Because, yeah, usually Kamala, when you ask her a question, she's flustered and all this stuff, but she seemed overly polished. You know why she seemed overly polished? Because, look, ABC is on her side. You know why she was so overly polished and she had these answers for everything that was almost being read like a script? You know why? You know good and well somebody probably got them questions to her ass in advance. You know good and well somebody probably got them questions. Somebody over at ABC. Ain't that right, Gabriel? Did somebody get quest get them questions over there to Kamala in advance like they did Hillary back in the day? Somebody got them questions over there to her ass and had her prepared. Sounds like somebody got them, somebody slipped them questions over there to her and she already had everything prepared because the way she was talking she was memorized, sounded like she was trying to memor remember an answer that was already prepared the way she was talking. It wasn't off the cuff at all. That sister who called made a very good point. What Kamala was doing, I'm like looking, I think I even tweeted, like, like she's trying, look like she's trying to remember her answers. She's trying to remember the answers to the questions that she already had preparations for, just like Hillary. We know how they get out. They've done it before. So I don't put that past them. I don't put that past them giving that woman the questions early and having her prepare for those questions. That's why they were giving her so many softball questions and grilling Trump. They never grilled Kamala. They never followed up. Oh, no, no, Kamala. Miss Harris, we're going to have to follow up. They they didn't do that. They kept doing that with Trump. They kept, well, let's, let's follow up. We need, well, we need you to answer this again. It was that type of thing. Very interesting. Let's get military and vets, and let's get 777 afterwards. Military, hop on. Hello? Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm sorry. Um, that happened so quick. Yes, hi, everybody. Um, I really think that um, Trump won tonight because um, everything that was just said I don't really think ABC was fair. It was all scripted. Yeah. Um, it, it Kamala Harris, um, the question came up uh, at him. Why did he question her being black? Right. Um, That's a trick question. It, you know? it, it was. Not... Yeah. It was. And then he was like, I don't care. I don't care. He kind of let it go. But then it was already kind of programmed for her to bring up the fives, which is old news. We thought we heard that back in 16. But she was like, she was thrown off by it because she was already programmed to bring it up. She wasn't expecting him to kind of be like, I don't really care, you know, or she's it, 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 but then she had to say it. And, but what I think what they should have done was ask her if she was black. That right. would have that would have ended the whole debate. <laughs> right. You know, and they let her go on with the fives and and how he did the fives and I think that and then they did not follow up with her to ask her. Well, do you want to address this now in front of the country to end this? Are you? black i mean it's not uh, or you know she could be multi-race it's okay right. but she she could have answered it and just ended it right then and there right but the the, the name of the game is for them that's with that um because kamala never publicly says that she's black they get the democratic shields to do all that stuff for her so she gets to be racially um, androgynous. So she doesn't really commit to any racial identity. She plays the, oh, we're all the same people and we shouldn't be divisive, okay? But I do make greens in a bathtub and I'm a twerk. And a... So they 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 do this little goofy gaslighting game. And when you say, hey, what, what's all of this stuff? What is this? 
oh, you guys are being divisive by asking about her fake black identity that she's trying to cosplay. Let's 777 hop on. Uh, okay. Hey, you guys. Um, so I'm going to say Kamala. I feel like Kamala won. And one, I don't, I don't, I want to know how can one ever be uh, overly prepared for a debate? Um, oh, any that, debate. That sounds with, like I gave them the answer, gave them the questions beforehand, which they were not supposed to do. But it sounds like the way she was answering and the way they were asking the questions, it sounds like one of those situations with Hillary Clinton again, where they gave the questions in advance. That That's what it felt like. Mm -mm. What it what it felt like was Trump thought uh, this debate was going to be like him debating Biden. He thought it was going to be an easy win because Biden was also another candidate who wasn't qualified uh, for the position to become president. Um, he didn't think that Kamala would be able to actually go toe to toe with him in the field. And I feel like. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Let me listen. Because really, the moderators were battling Trump harder than Kamala. It was the moderators that was he was really going against. Kamala wasn't really hitting him with nothing. What did Kamala hit him with that the moderators weren't really hitting Trump with? They were the ones that were hitting him with the BS. But go ahead, dear. Well, probably because Trump was saying a lot of BS. Uh, the first thing he came off his mic and said was, the immigrants are eating the cats. It's like, sir, like you, he came on there unserious, okay? And then he mentioned how a woman can give birth and terminate a baby. It's like, sir, you didn't prepare for this debate. This woman prepared for the debate. And yeah. it showed. Now, I will say the last lady that just spoke. Uh, she made a great point. It would have been great for them to ask her if she was black because that would have sh shook the tables. That would have broke the Internet if they would have asked her that question and her answer would have broke the Internet. Her answer would have basically um, it probably would have made Trump win the debate, you know, depending on her answer. So I will say that. But overall, Kamala was prepared and she's qualified for the position. So that's what I'm saying. Mm. And I'll drop. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, dear. You're I, don't welcome. Know, I don't know if she's qualified for the position. But, uh, I don't know. Watching. Let me see. Watching anonymously. No name media. Go ahead. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, Tariq, two Are points. You? I'm good, family. Two points I want to make. One I wanted to make yesterday on your uh, last video. I mean, not video, but your uh, Twitter space yesterday and today. So I'm going to start with today, with the debate. It became very obvious to me, at least me. I can't speak for nobody else. They were not debating against each other. They were debating against the American people. Mm -hmm. Who can be the biggest fucking liar? Because Trump, only thing Trump had to ever say was, you're the vice president right now. That's all he had to say the whole fucking debate. Well, he said that at yeah. the end. Well, well, yeah, sure, at the end. But, I mean, he, he was making some dumbass points, bro. We know Kamala. Bro, we on the ground roots know Kamala record. He ain't got that virus to, to tell him how dirty she is. How unqualified she is. First of all, she shouldn't have been the president nominee running up because she wasn't elected. That right there was a talking point for him to say nobody elected you to even run for the good Democratic ticket. Mm -hmm. That's a, a threat against democracy right there. So when you sit up here and tell the American people, you for democracy, you for everybody, you became the president nominee outside of the democracy uh, structure. Yes, indeed. So the fact that people didn't vote for her in 2020 tells you something. We don't want you. They don't want you. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much, brother. Let's get uh, the the countess. Hi, um, thank you very much. Um, I, For me, the biggest moment um, was that she said, like she basically played in Americans' faces when she said that she has created her green 
industry policies have created jobs and factories overseas. I think that is one of the biggest moments that I don't know that if anyone really noticed that she has shown tonight how much she cares about America. And that's outside of race, even though I think she's the worst thing that could happen to black Americans as a, as a president. But the fact that she said out of her own mouth that she created jobs for people who was not even here. And also that um, you have the, the statistic that she, her administration has created three jobs for immigrants for every one job Americans has lost. So she has shown her economic policy already, and that should be enough. I'm not a Trump supporter. Okay. I don't like Trump either. However, Kamala has shown who she is. So neither candidate is good. And I think neither candidate won. There you go. Thank you so much. Isaiah Washington, my brother, Isaiah. What's up, brother? Hey, what's up? I'm not going to stay long. You know, we've been chopping it up on the back channels, man. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I got to go to DC, DC to show my movie at the Capitol tomorrow. Throw me a prayer out there for that, man. Look, um, I've been saying this, and I was in a room about 5,000 MAGA people, right? And I listen, and I listen, and I listen. The problem we have <clears throat> is, you know, people are very shallow. We're not counting out the people that are not paying attention, that are just struggling to, to pay their bills and, 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 and buy food. This is going to come down to, like, what happened in 1863 in my 61-year-old Black American Negro Freedom Foundation of Black American Opinion, right? Mm -hmm. The rubber has hit the road, man. And in all these spaces, they never talk about cities for actions. They never talk about new uh, Amer office for new Americans. And they never talk about the black American vote. They never want to hear it, man. And, you know, I, I keep telling them, I said, you know what? We got people in this country that have a takeover spirit. Y'all are descendants of immigrants that fled. Mm. But mm. y'all not descendants of people that bled for on this American soil. So it's going to come down to the nitty gritty at the, at the 11th hour. They're going to be looking to us to do that Christmas addicts things. And we're going to have to make a decision. We're going to have to make a decision. We'll help you again, historically, but we need those tangibles. As a matter of fact, you know what? They're going to give up the tangibles. Like Mark Carter says, this immigration thing, which she never addressed, she never addressed the economy. I'm tired of this identity politics, this feminist equality shit and all this racist rhetoric and bullshit. I'm going to say this, family. We go outside. We, they, the Democrats showed us and the Uniparty Party showed us what they're prepared to do. If this man does get back in office, they're going to burn shit down and bail people out. But this is going to come down to the foundation of Black American and the Black American Negro Freedom that's going to save this nation again. Yeah. I, I, that's all I want to say on that, man. I'm, I'm gonna drop down and listen a little bit. Then I gotta get on this plane, man. But keep doing okay. what you're doing, Tariq, man. And uh, you, 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 you know what it is, man. Absolutely. Man. You have a safe trip over there too, by the way. Let's get KJ. KJ. Hey. Good evening, Tariq. Good evening, family. I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, there's about three things I want to talk. I want to say. Yes. I'm offended that. We can never have a pure American freedman descendant as a candidate. That's right. one. Like, I'm just, I'm offended by that. <clears throat> Two, I want to say at least Donald Trump addressed and said African American or black people in jobs. Yeah. Tonight. She never addressed us at all period never mm. mentioned us and oh, yeah. <clears throat> when it comes to i just hope that our people you know collectively masses don't especially women don't get stuck on that one issue which is abortion which we've totally outdone ourselves with that anyway yeah and then yep. we got fibroids. We got all these things. We're just going to genocide ourselves on out, out the picture. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. in there. Thank you for letting me speak. Thank you, Bilal. Thank you so much. Kubaz, are you still in here? Kubaz? Yes, sir. I'm here. How you doing, Kubaz? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. 
Where are you from, brother? I'm from Atlanta, my man. But I'm in California now. Oh, cool. All right, so what do you think about the debate? I mean, the problem I saw was Kamala could not dominate the uh, moderators. Okay. She she tried to get her point across, and she couldn't speak over them, and that hurt her. And Trump dominated the debate. Like he was, he if you were to look at the time, I don't know what it is. If you look at the time, he's probably seventy percent. She was thirty percent. We were looking for her to say, "Hey, here's what I'm going to do. Here's here's my plan." Now I'm a I'm a Trump supporter. I'll I'll be transparent about that. Okay. But I will give. I, I'm also in a, I I voted Obama the second time. Okay. I I will pick the best. What's you know? I'm 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 not going to sit there and say, "Oh, well, I'm this and that." Anyways. She failed to come to the plate. She had the chance. Okay. There it is. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Hoods, is that you coughing over there, Hoods? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm in Vegas, man. So you know I'm smoking good, man. See, man, you put that blunt down, man. What you doing up there in Vegas? Man, watching the debate, man. And um, I just think uh, Kamala... You know, like the uh, other lady said, man, she didn't uh, she did not mention black. I think she spun that real well. Um, I just think she had a bunch of word salad. And and, and I think Kamala, she's uh, she does just speak on a policy. And I think that's where she got like the, the young African-Americans and just the young people, period. Like everybody's so attached to social media. And we're not really paying attention to the policies like Trump said. I'm more focused on us going to war and then with them uh, trying to uh, implement the draft now. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm just like looking at my like looking at my daughters and my kids and some of my nieces and nephews. Like we're not looking at we're looking at the next four years. But are we looking at the next 12 years? Yep, good point, brother. Let's get brother Marcel in the building. Marcel? Hey, Tariq, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you, brother? I'm doing well. So let me say, first of all, as far as who won the debate, I'm going to give it to Trump, but let me explain why. First of all, Trump should have done way better because all Kamala Harris had to do was not fall flat on her face. Right. So the ball was very low for her. And to be fair, she didn't really fall flat on her face. She didn't do well, but she didn't do as awful as she typically does when speaking. Second of all, as awful as things are now in our country, Trump had many opportunities to call her out and hold her accountable and tie the awful conditions we're having in this country from the economy to the border to her, and he failed to do so because Trump is so undisciplined and he just wants to talk about how great he is. So Trump should have done a lot better. Yeah, absolutely. However, Go ahead. this just proves how weak Kamala Harris is. Trump won in the last 30 seconds when he said she's talking about all she's going to do She's had 3.5 years to do it. Why isn't she do it now? And that's yep. how he ended up winning in those last 30 seconds. And I yep. land there. Thank you so much. Yeah, that right there, when he, he was able to close real strong, and you remember that. He was able to close real strong. But let's get Jason in here. Mr. Jason, how are you? Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Um, Yeah, I believe a little differently. I believe Kamala won. I believe um, he, he didn't answer any policy questions. He didn't lay out any policies that he was going to be implemented uh, like he always does. He never answers any kind of policy questions. She let us know that she's going to put money into first time homeowners, buyers pockets. Uh, she can help with increasing the child credit. Uh, they're going to lower taxes for, um, you know, middle class America and try to continue to do what they've been doing with building up the economy through the middle class for the middle class. And uh, I think she did a great job. I look forward to voting for her. And um, that's that. There you go, my man. Thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate you, sir. All right, let's get um, AE, X. Hey, what's going on? I appreciate you for having me. Um, I, I'm going to say Trump won. Uh, I agree with you in that last 30 seconds. 
he came on strong. He talked about the last three years. She hasn't done anything. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what really brought her home because, honestly, they could have done, you know, if you look at the um, bill, um, Lift Every Voice, that was their promise to Black America in 2020. Nothing has been done. They didn't get the police act done. They didn't get the, the John Lewis bill done. Yeah. She ain't going to get it done. So yeah. for that, Black people, and then look, I mean, I'll, I'll end it with this. Most of us who work in corporate America, like myself, like since 2024, 15% of companies have are laying off another 5% by the end of the year. This this is bad time. So I'll leave with that. Thank you for the opportunity, bro. I appreciate you. Let's get Dame Official. Dame. Hi, Tariq. How are you? How you doing, dear? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, so. I think that Kamala won tonight, and I am not a fan, but she played on a lot of people's heartstrings tonight. Like, she was very emotional, and though she wasn't, like, direct on a lot of the questions, she is a professional swerver. <laughs> she swerved so many things to her position, and then it made Trump nervous, so he started to get a radical for me. Like, he didn't keep his composure. And so mm -hmm. I just felt like he was just kind of all over the place. He couldn't land his moments. You know, I don't think he was, um, he wasn't really trying to, you know, gather the points. Like he had great points, but he didn't know how to land it. You know, he kept just doing like an attack. And so I knew for me that he kind of like lost it. And then towards the end, like everyone was mentioning, I thought he had good points, but I just wish his closing was a lot stronger in the mentioning what he's going to do, you know, versus saying, well, you didn't do this, you didn't do this. And it's like, okay, great. We know this now. What you going to do, you know? Yeah. And then when he started to have the lip sweat, did anyone peep that? It just gave like he was nervous, you know what I'm saying? Like he couldn't really like bounce back from the emotion that he was feeling when he was, you know, she was mentioning the crowd size, like she knew what points to make. So I kind of believe that maybe she did get some questions like beforehand, you know, cause she was prepared, but that's a good thing. That's not bad being prepared. I just feel like Trump freestyles a lot, you know, and sometimes it works for his favor, but in this case, he should have came a bit more prepared, you know, to really land those points, you know, about the border, you know, um, where everybody is right now, you know, with rent and groceries and all these things. And so many points he could have really came into. And then he missed a lot of opportunities, too. So when, you know, they brought up her identity, he could have swerved and said, look, the you know, Black America's been voting. They, they've been doing this. They built the America. And he could have just swerved it into really making it work in his favor. But he missed so many key points. And then to land it at the end, I feel like Kamala won just because, again, how she played on people's heartstrings. And she mentioned a lot of key points. She said um, words like um, freedom and middle class and um, giving to small business owners. And I was like, yep. There she go. She got it. So that's just how I feel about that. There it is. All right. So much, beloved. I appreciate you. Let's get Lando. What up, Doe Flex? What's popping, baby? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? Man, anything is good. I actually have to agree with everything that young lady just said. So you know I don't rock with Harris. But going into it, she basically, they gave her a game plan. And even though I didn't like the game plan, she executed it 100%. Soon as they know... That we, she don't talk about policy. They like, look, the first thing you say, no matter what they ask you, talk about a policy. So she talked about a policy. They gave her keywords that can trigger Trump. Talked about crowd sizes and he lost his cool. Like old girl basically said, she had a game plan and executed it. Trump, they said Trump was live streaming on YouTube with somebody 10 minutes before. So he went into it like, look. She, he already knows she can't debate. Let me just go and freestyle it. And like you said, they probably did slide her the script because, being honest, ABC was very biased towards okay. um towards her. Where they was like, look, um, exactly like certain parts during the debate, they would ask her a direct question, and she completely won't even didn't even go close to answering it. And it'd be cool. And Trump would do the exact same thing, not answer the question. But it's like, hey, Trump, uh-uh, we need you to answer this, yes or no. All right, well, you just, yeah. So you might be right where it was very 
unbiased. They probably slipped or something. But now the last thing before I land my plane, I will say, I think that that Democrats is messing up because since they seen his low small win, they immediately was like, yeah, we want to do another debate. Now, if they were smart, they would just hide her and, you know, and just basically just try to live off of this. Because if they do another debate, Trump going to be like, all right, I effed up. I'm about to destroy her. <laughs> and that can pl- probably be bad for him. I'll land my plane there. Talk to you later. Appreciate you. Yeah, very interesting dynamic, man. Let's get, um, let me see. We've got a lot of folks in here. And by the way, if you are in L.A., Y'all come out to the Hidden History Museum this Saturday. We got an event at the Hidden History Museum. Get your tickets at hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Join me at the Hidden History Museum. Come on out. We got um, complimentary food, drinks, great comedians, great vibe, great networking, and you'll get to kick it with me and we'll chop it up at the Hidden History Museum, 2131 West Jefferson Boulevard in Los Angeles this Saturday. Go to HiddenHistoryMuseum.com for information and tickets. Julius, what's up, Julius? Julius, well, not Julius, no, Shanice. Yeah, I'm getting names wrong. Shanice, what's up, dear? Hi, how are you doing? I I definitely think that Kamala Harris wiped the floor with Trump. And I think people can, you know, like or dislike who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. but. We really need to look at substance. And I think if people were to actually just look at what was physically said, like what was actually coming out of folks' mouth, I really am struggling to understand what people believe that Donald Trump said that was so profound. He literally talked about Haitian immigrants eating dogs and cats, which, you know, to be fact-checked about that, that is not to to make Donald Trump look bad, that is to let people know that hate crimes that can start from that type of rhetoric is extremely dangerous. We saw that with the COVID pandemic. Um, Kamala Harris, yes, she was, in my opinion, a little stale on some of the policies. Specifically, she's talked about the housing. She's talked about um, she's talked about policies as far as small businesses and the taxes. I was hoping to hear some new policy. Um, or even just hear more about how she would actually enact those policies. As a woman, I'm always going to stand by women having the right to choose, and that's a discussion between them and their doctors. So anything that Trump has said, or to be honest, not said, you can miss me on all of that. I'm a woman. I have friends who have almost died from from septus and and miscarriages. So I'm never going to side with any man um, trying to make that decision or thinking the government should have a decision um, on and, that. And Shanice, also, you're AKA. You're AKA, aren't you? I absolutely am. I am a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I've been voting since I was 18 years old in 2004. Well, some might think that you're a little biased, but okay, that's fine. No, that's no, fine. no, 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 okay. no. I'm not biased. What I'm saying is, is I'm listening to the policies. When asked, would you veto any bill or create a national abortion ban? That is a yes or no question. That ain't no, oh, well, I'm a, no, no, no. That's a very, very simple question. And then to say that it's going to go to the states when in the state that he would be voting in, which is Florida, they are now trying to take it off of the ballot and not allow people to vote on those type of referendums. The same thing is going on in Arizona where that's supposed to be on the ballot. So here's the thing. You can say It's a state right. I live in the state of Maryland. It's going to be on our ballot. We're going to vote for it. But then don't sit here and try to disenfranchise people or not put it on the ballot so that, yes, every state and the people in those states can vote. And so, no, when you say, oh, because I'm an AKA, I'm biased. No, because at the end of the day, I'm someone who has watched debate since I was 18 years old in 2004 when I watched Bush um, and, and that election. Um, And I'm not voting for Kamala Harris because she's an AKA. I'm voting for Kamala Harris because I can read, I can comprehend. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and vote for somebody who was talking about Hannibal Lecter, who was talking about people eating dogs and stealing geese. I'm not going to vote for somebody who's going to tell me that they are for abortion, but they're not, but they're not voting for this. And like, let's be real. 
Let, mm-hmm. Like, let's be very serious. So, again, I just, that was something I found to be a little disheartening um, to hear um, that there are people, you know, and again, everyone has their own opinion, that's fine. But I, I also think if we're really looking at substance and what was literally said, take the people out of it, just read a transcript of what was said. I mean, it was just absolute nonsense most of the time. Yeah. Shanice, where are, you, where are you from? Where's your family from? Caribbean? No. Oh, We're African American. My father, my grand, my great grandfather fought in um, World War One. We are descendants of slaves out of South Carolina, Sumter, South Carolina. Um, on my grandmother's side, on my maternal grandmother's side, and on my maternal grandfather's side, um, ex slaves and sharecroppers from Wilson, North Carolina. There you go, my girl. All right, thank you so much, Shereen. Shanice. Thank I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Let's get them. Um, Dexter, Dexter in the building. What's up, King Flex? How you doing, Dexter? I'm pretty good, man. I'm pretty good, your... bro. bro. What's on your mind? Oh man, this debate. I, I wish, I wish Trump had bought that 2016 energy. That would have been a. That would have made things a little bit more exciting. But however. I think, you know, no nobody's going to switch their votes because of this debate. The lines are already drawn. People are already picked their sides. So it's just a matter of November 5 getting here. This, deb- this debate doesn't make that much of an impact, I think. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't disagree with that. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Let's get um, a more. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, dear, I can hear you. Hi, thank you for selecting me to speak tonight. And I hope yeah. that everyone is doing well. Mm-hmm. But um, about your topic, I do honestly just blame the moderators. I feel like they were incredibly biased and they yeah. lacked substance because they spent a lot of time asking him the same questions like about the insurrection. Like they just literally asked him that already. So I feel like they should have focused on pol- like the actual policies because they're the ones that are supposed to be controlling it, right? Mm-hmm. So I didn't hear them mention anything about the education system, like none of that, or child care. Those are important things. And I definitely didn't hear them talk about the black community, things like that. So I just felt like it was, you know, poor choices for the moderators. But um, it was funny when he said that nobody's going to her rallies except for the people that she bust in and paid for. Yeah. That was hilarious, because I know for a fact that they tried to get me on their, uh, I think it's called the Unite the Country. That's like a political committee. They were trying to get influencers, and they were asking us, um, it was for like a paid opportunity, to basically get online and tell what Biden has done for us, and um, basically to like go against the Republicans and battle misinformation. And I'm like, this is crazy that you can see black influencers when it's time for your party, but when it's our neighborhoods, our communities, like grants, housing, everything like that, you don't see us. Yeah. And you're trying to pay us for that. That's, that's a first for me. I've never seen any presidential candidate do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's really desperate to me. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much, beloved. Now, a lot of thing, and and, and, because if you look at the comments under this live right now, a lot of people are kind of insinuating or kind of saying that Kamala had on an earpiece. Even when I was watching, I'm like, I was thinking, is she wearing an earpiece? Because the way she was talking, it just felt like it seemed like somebody was feeding her some, some like they were giving her the words, the way she, it wasn't, she wasn't flowing naturally. And it seemed like somebody was saying something to her and she was just kind of parroting what was being told to her. And there are people in, uh, in the comments kind of doing close-ups on them earrings or whatever she had. Looks like it was some kind of earpiece. I wouldn't put it past them because when I was watching them, the way she would answer her questions, it would it, it didn't just flow. Like Trump was just kind of freestyling, flowing. But she was like, well, I'm going to have the affordable care act and i'm doing things for all people and i'm all about diversity and it was like that it was that kind of vibe you you know what i'm saying i saw that's what i was reading from it and i'm like i'm trying to look because her hair was i'm like is she wearing an earpiece now a lot of people are saying that she might have had on an earpiece i don't know 
but I wouldn't put it past him. John Q, hop on. John Q, how's it going? How's it, how's it going? So, uh, doing well, doing well. Um, yeah, so a lot of that was the, the main thing, the main thing that you can take away from the debate was fucking huge. Um, and I feel like a lot of people missed it. So Trump, uh, he baited her into disclosing something extremely significant. Um, and what that was, was he got her to state, and I quote, Very Slam that gavel down. Interesting. I gotta, I gotta go back and replay that part. Robert, what's up, brother? Robert, unmute your microphone. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, Robert. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. So how uh, you think? I, I was just thinking that uh, I really didn't like the debate really too much. Uh, it was just a lot of it wasn't what I expected it'd be. Um, it, it was almost just like uh, everyone expected it to be kind of like a fight night, but <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, as far as people's policy goes, I, I just suggest people go and look for themselves and find their policies that, that people actually have on their websites and things like that. They actually want to see something because if you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, let's get Maroc in the building. Uh, yep. Yeah. What up? What up, Sri? What's up? How are you? Doing all right. So basically, um, to me, what's to win? Um, to me, uh, if I was to give it to anybody, it would probably be Trump only because of the simple fact that when he asked Kamala, uh, were we better off than we were four years ago? She never answered the question. So to me, that wrapped it up. Yeah. It wrapped it up for me because uh, you basically gave the election uh, to Trump saying that we were better off in the economy uh, under him. So I land there. there you go, man. Thank you so much, Mariah. Appreciate you. Let's get Miss Sandra. Let's get some a lot of ladies. Up. I like that. I like the ladies chiming in. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, dear? I'm doing well. Um, I just wanted to point out some of the things that I noticed in the debate. Um, I found it absolutely hilarious how Kamala was like, oh, I support women's bodies and your choice and all the other stuff when it was under her administration, her and Biden, that they mandated vaccines. What happened to all the choice over someone's body oh, when yeah. they mandate vaccines? I mean, my sister was personally affected. She wasn't able to keep her job. She was pregnant at the time and they wanted her to get this vaccine that's untested. There's no way to know what that's gonna, what effect that would have had on my nephew. Thankfully, yeah. she didn't take the vaccine and my, my nephew is nice and healthy. But I find it hilarious when they say my body, my choice, but then they're the same people that mandated a vaccine and put it where you, if you didn't get the vaccine, you couldn't work. And then they want to talk about, oh, well, it's under his policy that uh, unemployment was so bad. No, it was because you met, you allowed these companies to mandate vaccines and the people that didn't want to take the, the secret juice lost their jobs. Yeah. So, you know, I just I found that absolutely hilarious. I loved how he turned her little quote against her when he said, I'm speaking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so funny. It had me on the floor. But I mean, the, the, the debate was absolutely biased. You had the, the um, mediators, which I say in quotes, you had them sitting over here basically feeding her answers <laughs> and feeding her answers to different things that he was saying and then rebuttaling things that he was saying as opposed to just asking the questions and letting the, letting the two people up there duke it out. 
So it was completely biased, and she would never take herself over there to Fox to the Fox debate. She she, right. she said f f that. She needed the training wheels. She needed someone to hold her hand, and that's exactly what they did. Yes. So, in my opinion, Trump dominated over yeah. her the entire time. There you go. Thank you so much, dear. So yeah, I'm hearing that Kamala would like to do another debate. This is what they're saying. If they do another debate, um. I think, wouldn't it be fair if they did it at Fox so that there's like a level playing field so they won't have the moderators basically grill the other side? Because they were grilling Trump. The moderators were definitely softballing Kamala and grilling Trump. Trump's battle was with the moderators. That was the real debate was between him and the moderators tonight. Karinga, what's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, Unc? What's going on, OG? I just wanted to say, go ahead. I was watching the debate, and as I was watching it, I seen that you know, anytime Trunk made a dig at Kamala, you pointed it out. Did you see all these dudes in the comment section saying, "Man, Teresa just say he supports Trump"? So it's like, yo, this is ridiculous, man. You got to support Trump just to call out her bull. Yeah, that's a that's a Democrat shield talking point. They always use that talking point. That's supposed to be one of their shaming tactics. If you call out Kamala or the Democrats, y'all must be MAGA. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a tired talking point that they like to throw out there. And I, I'm not bothered by that. We got over 2,000 people in the building right now. Shout out to everybody. All 2,000 of you follow me here. Y'all hit that follow right here because I spit hot fire all the time. And also subscribe to my Tariq Radio YouTube channel. My Tariq Radio YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and type in Tariq Radio. Subscribe to that, ladies and gentlemen. And go to microphonecheck.com to get the new documentary I produce called Microphone Check. The best hip-hop documentary in the game right now. All right, let's get a couple of more calls in here because we are packed to the rim with a lot of people trying to chime in. And everybody retweet this. Let folks know that we're live right now. Let's um let's get Alasana Ba. Alasana. And then we'll get Citizen. So Alasana, what's up, brother? Alasana. You got to unmute your microphone, sir. All right, he ain't ready. Citizen X, what's happening? Citizen X, are you ready? All right, Citizen X, can you unmute your microphone? There you go. All right, now you can speak, Citizen X. Come on now, let's not slow my momentum down here. All right, people, please make sure your phones are not janky when you request to get on. Let's get Kelly building. All right. Let's get Kelly in here. All right. Come on now. Where y'all at? Ain't nobody y'all all everybody's phone is janky. All right, come on with the janky ass phone. You you should not have a T Mobile sidekick. I don't even know how you guys are getting apps on a T Mobile sidekick. Okay. Raise your hand if you're ready to get on, ladies and gentlemen. Because some people are making requests and your asses are not ready. You got them old ass iPhone 2s and you are not ready. Let's get Qantas. Let's get Qantas. Hop on, Qantas. Qantas, hop on, man. I'm trying to get you a voice. The Qantas? And he can know on, man. Yeah, bro. I wanted to say, man, um, first it seemed like they was just um basically trying to like like uh change like the opinion of people towards Kamala Harris. I feel like and also, you know, with the Haitians in uh Ohio eating the ducks and the cats, they was trying to uh say that that wasn't true, but I personally just left out of Ohio not too long ago. And yes, I've definitely seen in Springfield, Ohio, 
at the park, they had at least four Haitians cooking up a bird in the park. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. So they capping if they yeah. say no. yeah, saying that that's happening out there. So yeah, I I don't know. People are saying that is a they're saying it's happening, and then law enforcement and the officials of these cities they try to deny it. Just like in um Colorado, they were trying to deny that the Venezuelan gangs were taking over places. They're like, oh, that's exaggeration, but. People are getting shot and robbed, and you know, there are people going to the damn hospital, verified, getting shot by these migrants. There was a sister in Indiana, some damn um, Hispanic immigrant dude who was an Uber driver, just sexually assaulted and killed this sister out there in Indiana. Th this stuff is real out here. Don't let them sit up and say that it's exaggeration. Some of these immigrants are coming over here, these people from immigrant backgrounds are harming people too. This is real. All right, let's get, um, let me get Nicole. Hey, Tariq, how are you? How are you doing, Miss Nicole Owen? Doing well. So um, I just want to say real quick, uh, I think Trump was talking to people in reality. I mean, straight Americans that are in reality. And then okay. Kamala, as usual, speaking to fear mongering and um, emotions. Mm. Oh, there it is. So and that's it. So I, I know Trump is going to win because people on social media, they are like on at it. They are yeah. not letting anything slide sound bites. I mean, they're speaking facts. So I just think Trump is going to get it. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, thank you so much, beloved. Appreciate no you. Um, Aisha, what's up, dear? Hi. I just wanted to say at the end of the day, I feel like Kamala did a great job. Okay. And why do you think that she didn't? Well, I, I'm saying that she did better than a lot of people expected. She did do better than I, the, yeah. you know, I, she didn't crap her pants. So the bar was real low. As long as she didn't fall on her face and crap her pants, um, you know, that would be considered doing good. So she did good in that respect. But uh, many people are pointing out, as am I, that the moderators were very biased towards her. They never grilled her like they were grilling I Trump. Do, I do agree with that. I will not negate from that. I agree with that. Yeah. And, you know, that's why I guess she wanted to do it at ABC. And also many people are saying it's looking like she might have had some of them questions in advance so she could prepare just like the Democrats have done before. So, you know, it's politics. You got people who play dirty behind the scenes, allegedly. So it is what it is. All right. And where are you from, Aisha? I, I am from America. OK, well, part of America, because you want somebody who say that. <laughs> That's not like a Somalian. Okay. <laughs> That's something that an immigrant. Okay. Where's I apologize. Where's uh, your family? What I want to say is at the end of the day, Kamala was right. Family. At Kamala. the end of the day, we should all align by her. I don't know, because are you up there eating pit bulls in Ohio? Where's your family from? Where's your family from, dear? Where's your family, dear? See, she negated. She tried to be slick and... And and swerve from that question. You come from an immigrant background, beloved. You were out there in the park eating a duck with some injera bread. Come on now, tell people where you're from, beloved. All right, let me get some more people. Don't don't fake the funk. We know when you ask somebody where they're from and they say America, if you don't sit your ass down, <laughs> America. <that's laughs> we don't say that. All right, that right there let us know that you, all right, I smell some baklava. All right. Yeah, right there, let us know the answer. Kelly, what's up, Kelly? You want to unmute your microphone, Kelly? All right, Kelly is not unmuting that microphone. All right. When you, Kelly, you unmute your mic and say something. Kelly, what are you doing over there? Two, three. Okay, we can hear you now. What's happening? Yes. Hello, Tariq. How are you tonight? I'm good, Kelly. What city are you in, dear? I am in the city of Austin, Texas, but uh, I was born and raised in uh, New Orleans. Okay. And, um, mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, okay. I am a huge Trump supporter. Okay. Definitely. 100% all the way. Um, that debate 
was so rigged for Kamala. Mm -hmm. I was totally turned off by it. Um, there's a clear, there's a clear bias against uh, President Trump, and um, that needed to be called out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, thank you. I am disgusted. Okay, love you, Kelly. It just takes so long, sweetie. Lord, you sound like you work at the DMV. It's just so long to get an answer out of you, beloved. Much love to you. Much love to you. What the hell? Okay, why am I trending? Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm trending now. Good freaking grief. I guess the shade. Okay, I'm trending on Twitter right now. I'm looking at the tweets. Okay, what am I trending? Okay, I don't know. I'm trending for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of this live. But, um, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm trending on Twitter, so I don't know. All right. So anyway, let me get some Lord. All right. A lot of stuff we're going to touch on here. We got a lot of people in this room right now. We got over 2,000 people in here. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Let's get Brother um, Adrian. Let's get Adrian or A Aiden, not Adrian. A get Aiden in here. And then we'll get Zazzy. Okay. So let's get Aiden. Aiden first. Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> How you doing? Good, good. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention uh, I was on another space, and a lot of people seem to think that they were a little disappointed in the uh, in the debate. But uh, you know, it, it was clearly in Trump's favor, especially considering that it was a kind of a, th uh, a three against one. Um, uh, I, I think everybody should know that clearly. This was you know. Uh, Kamala was getting trained and prepped for a long time, and uh, her strategy was really obvious. Uh, she was really trying to goad uh, Trump into, you know, maybe losing his temper a little bit and start doing some name calling so she could discredit him. So I think from that aspect, uh, Trump did a really good job. Uh, I think a lot of the smirking that that uh, you know Kamala was displaying also discredited her, and I think that the that the bias was so obvious. Uh, and we all know that. I mean, I think anybody, we, I think anyone that would think that he would have gone to this debate and it wouldn't be biased, uh, there's no way that that's not going to happen. We all know the legacy media is incredibly biased and controlled by, by the Democratic Party. Um, yeah, and, and I want to say, too, I don't think that this necessarily swung the pendulum greatly in any direction. But I do want to say this. I, I live in L.A., I grew up back east, but I live in LA, and there's a very there's there's a significant portion of the population. I'm not one of those anymore, but there's a significant portion of the population that are pro-Trump. They just they're just kind of shy or afraid to expose themselves or say it uh, outwardly because there's a lot of aggression towards uh, Trump supporters, uh, especially where I am. You know, in the city I, I live in, there's there's business owners that are getting pressured to use pronouns in their emails and whatnot, and they don't outwardly go out there and say they support Trump. Uh, I do. Um, but we're, I really do feel like uh, Trump has a very strong chance of, of dominating um, the elections on November 5th. And there is a large portion of the population that are just not that are not outwardly saying that they're going to be voting for him, but that that, that they are. And I, yeah. Yeah. Too. This is the same thing with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was up in the pre polls. And then when the election came, it was damn near landslide. So, you know, there probably are a lot of people who, when they, you know, are asked by these pollsters, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I might do Kamala. And, and then on election day, they go for Trump. I don't know. Zazzy. What's up, Zazzy? Hey, how's it going? I'm absolutely baffled that people actually believe that Donald Trump has any chance in this election. Yeah. <laughs> Just watching the debate tonight, he got eaten alive by her. Uh, she, the reason she beat him in the, in this debate is because she's a prosecutor. She knows how to, she knows how to maneuver herself and she knows how to take those questions and throw that back on him. She, she served him every single time. She goaded him into every single question that he got and he fell for every single one. He, he, 
he is an embarrassment to this country, like an insurrection on our country. Oh, Zazzy. So did she do that or did the moderators do it? It sounded like she did. No, 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 no. I absolutely I believe she did. She turned every question back onto him. The moderators were doing that, though. They they were like, well, it's a yes or no question, Trump. The moderators were really grilling him more than she was, right? But he didn't answer any of the questions. Like, the, the, the simple questions about Ukraine and Russia, like, did he want Ukraine to win the war? He couldn't even answer a simple question whether he wanted a democracy to win a war over a communist country. He couldn't answer yes or no to that. All he had to do was say yes. He couldn't even answer that. Mm. That was a that was a lob to him. He could have just said yes. Ukraine should win the war, and he couldn't even say yes to that. Mm. I mean, simple things that he could have just answered. He couldn't do that. There you go, my man. Thank you so much, Zaz. I appreciate you. All right, Zaz said Kamala washed him. That's what Zaz said. Okay, but uh, I, I didn't see that. I saw the moderators were really grilling Trump more than anything. He was getting grilled by the moderators more than anything. But, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, politics can be a dirty game. Shout out to everybody in here. Let's get Hun, what's your name? Um, Huns Tactical. Huns Tactical in the building. What's up, Huns? Hey, we'll how's it going, Tariq? Thanks for uh, letting me chat here. Yeah, I uh, I tuned in to the beginning of the debate. I didn't end up finishing all of it, but what I did notice, the one uh, aspect that stuck with me is uh, early on during the debate, um, Kamala Harris was trying to make a point of, oh, well, oh, you know, under uh, Trump's administration or whatever, this and this, this is what Goldman Sachs had to say. And for me, that was kind of strange. Like, why... Why do you think the big Goldman Sachs banks care about their citizens? These banks have their own agenda. They don't really care about the rest of us. So why is, you know, Kamala trying to use them as a shield per se? So that to me was kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Hans. Let me get Crush. Crush in the building. Crush. Hey, Tariq. How are you? I'm good. How you doing, Crush? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Um, so I think Trump won. It was not uh, an absolute domination on his part because, of course, as we know, uh, the moderators were given Kamala a lot of help. I'm not telling anybody that something they don't know with that. But I, I think uh, the other thing that uh, you might not know, have, I think everybody noticed, even though they don't necessarily know how to say it, Kamala and the moderators both sounded very scripted. You know, yeah. They, yes. uh, yeah. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, they didn't, it really sounded like she had an earpiece. Same exact thing. I was going to say it sounded like the moderators were working with kind of in a sense to uh, work with Kamala more than they were the other thing. Right. Right. I swear it sounded like I was thinking when I'm watching it, I'm like, does Kamala have on an earpiece? I kept Absolutely. trying. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It just. I, yeah. yeah, so I, I, I think that that's uh, the issue sounded and the moderator sounded inauthentic. And of course, Trump doesn't know what they're going to hit him with next. But he always had something to say. And it's it sounded genuine. You might not like it. Don't like it then. But it sounded genuine. And the only other thing I have to say is I think that the uh, the cats and dogs talking point um, is actually a winning talking point. Uh, unfortunately, Mankind is not able to obey his reason. And so the facts and logic uh, doesn't work on everybody, unfortunately. I don't mean that as an insult. Like people genuinely do. Everybody uh, operates on emotions most of the time. And uh, people care about their pets, especially in this country. And that's to our credit. So uh, it's happening. We know it's happening. They can deny it. But, you know, we have Twitter. We know or X. Excuse me. I want that name. X. <laughs> so we know it's happening. We know us. Thank you so much. Let's get Pan, Pan Nico. How do I pronounce your name, dear? <laughs> Panic. Um, I, that's pretty much what I was going to say, exactly what he said. Um, it For me, it sounded more as if it was like coerced. Like it was kind of like it was built to kind of build her up, seeing as though it was kind of like a last minute kind of debate in a sense. 
um, because it's coming on. It's not like been a full blown race for her. I feel like it, it was it was kind of like they were there to help her in a sense. Yeah. Um, they didn't cut her off as much as they cut him off. She was talking throughout the times he was talking. His mic got muted more than hers did. Like it was it really looked like they were kind of against it. But also it was like debate wise. It, 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 it looked crazy to me. It just, it looked, I, I, I'm really big on looking through being um, in a sense of looking at things for what they are, not more or less for what I feel or what my personal beliefs are, like understanding things for what people give it to you. And I honestly feel as if it was kind of a situation of looking at something in a sense of, oh, this is exactly what it is. And I honestly felt like it was put in position like he she's a great like you know prosecutor or whatever but it it, it looked it, it it looked crazy like it is it genuinely looked crazy indeed yes indeed well thank you so much beloved thank, thank you. you let me get my sister brooke in the building brooke what's going on dear hello good night how are you good dear how are you i'm good thanks so much for asking um i just had a couple of points and um when um, I think someone was up and they were talking about the fact that um, uh, that that they don't think that a lot of the women are go or that a lot of the people are going to vote for her the way they're saying that they are. I definitely agree with that. If we remember during Trump's um, the the, fir the first time he ran, there was a women's march directly after his win, and the same women who were marching, the same white women who were marching in that rally, were uh, voted for Trump. So I don't believe they didn't vote for Hillary, and I don't believe that they're going to vote for Kamala. I believe that a lot of them are lying and saving face. Um, I also wanted to um, agree with you when they were talking about um when you were saying that they fed Hillary um, Kamala the questions because Donna Brazil did get caught up for doing that with Hillary um, during that last debate that they had. And um, it was on record, I saw several news articles saying that Kamala was basically locked up for like two or three days prepping for this debate. So she's she was definitely prepping hard for it because she was more composed and less giggly um, than usual, but I still don't believe that she won. Um, I still think that Trump, although I don't think he talked about a lot of future policy. He talked about what everything that he did do and what they screwed up. And I think that's going to be um, important. And they're going to try to play the, that, um, you know, he's a liar. That's what she kept on saying. Every time he told the truth on something, she just called him a liar, which she's lying. <laughs> Thank you so much, beloved. Yeah, I, to be honest, I'm going to be very real, man. And just looking at, I'm, I'm looking at stuff in real time because a lot of people are posting things. Those earrings. When I'm, when I was watching this, the way Kamala was talking, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking for an earpiece because I'm like, she sounds like somebody's telling her what to say in real time. Just the flow of her conversation. It didn't have a natural, off the cuff flow. And you can look in her eyes and see she's trying to concentrate on what the hell she's saying. It's not just flowing, flowing. And I'm thinking, hey, somebody said, I don't see an earpiece. And now people are talking about those earrings she has. They got earrings that are basically earpieces. They're, they're wireless earpieces. Because Kamala, she's not good on her feet. This woman is horrible on her feet. When she did that CNN interview, remember a couple of weeks ago, she had to do a pre-taped interview and old boy had to sit there with her and she was still falling flat on her face. This was for a sit down interview. So all of a sudden she's up and doing this debate and she has all of these words just coming out. Okay. That was a, an interesting turnaround. You became very wordy. You know just what to say right off the cuff. So is it off the cuff? Or is it off the earpiece? Are they playing dirty politics here? We've got to ask this. Shout out to everybody's listening. We've got a lot of people in here. Let me get out of here, guys. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com. 
get the children's book, Hidden History from A to Z, and also get tickets to join me at the Hidden History Museum this Saturday in Los Angeles, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Family, it's a heat wave out here in Los Angeles on the West Coast and in other uh, of some cities and states. Since it's a heat wave, that means you're going to get musty. You need to get the deodorant called Root Work at rootworkstyle.com. All natural deodorant, no aluminum, none of that stuff, all natural ingredients, the best deodorant in the game right now. You need to get that right now. You are musty. Stop that must. Stop the must. Rootworkstyle.com. Get that deodorant. There's like five or six different scents for you. Rootworkstyle.com. T.S. Giselle, that means you too. You are a big back person, so you sweat a lot, especially under them wigs. You need some root work, all right? That's going to soak up all of that must and all that testosterone hormone stuff you got going on. And also that hair and that big back in them wigs that's going to make you sweat, all right? You need root work. <laughs> <laughs> let me let you in. I, I'm not going to hit you without letting you get your leg back. I'll be fair. Come on, get your leg back. Hop in, T.S. Giselle. Exactly. Save the queen for last. Let me tell you, 2000 delusional people something. Baby, Kamala turned Trump every way but loose on that stage in the way that my proud Alpha Kappa Alpha sister would do. The delusions of grandeur from you lunatics. She de devastated Trump, destroyed him. His campaign is horrible. The lack of preparation for this debate from Trump was very obvious. His campaign is in disarray. I don't okay. know who these people are, but what we do know, Tariq, is we do know that you're being funded by Russia um, to spread misinformation about Kamala. That's what we know. And you should, and I'm glad you saved me for last. So prove it, prove it that I'm getting some from Russia. If we're talking about Russia, Russia sent over a bear, and that's you, a big back bear with a wig. That's the only thing from Russia that we got is a big Russian bear. You can call with a Sally's Beauty Supply wig. All right. You can call me all the names you want, but I'm gonna be strolling. You're going to be strolling on the whole stroll selling bussy, looking like a bear. All right. Anyway. The first black you. sorority. Oh, get out of here. All right. Anyway, Lord. Anyway, family, like I was saying, get your root work deodorant at rootworkstyle.com, ladies and gentlemen. And also go to microphonecheck.com to get the latest documentary. 